Hi, this is Shadi. Today we're going to be looking at the new training footage by the Japanese security police in preparation for the G7 summit. So after the Shizo Abe event, uh, they need to work extra hard and think of more precautionary drills. So this footage is very short and it's going to include a little bit of hand-to-hand -hand combat, the classical stuff that we see usually and also stuff that would fit the modern era when it comes to securing someone and shielding. So without further ado, the first we're going to be looking at is a very low and concealed stab. So uh, the first thing that you need to do is actually really handle the wrist and pulling back and notice that the other arm or the hand is going on the throat. You don't need to be an expert in combatives to know that the throat is a very vital area and going for it is gonna hinder your aggressor severely. Can they still attack? Of course, but it's gonna give you that few milliseconds of confusion and discomfort and pain in order for you to proceed and try to control the situation. Even animals know that the throat is the first thing you go for when really going for the kill or domination. The next one is your downward strike. Very classical. Anyone who's trained a little bit of kata or aikido knows this technique and it is the first thing that you learn when doing aikido, especially in today's age. So this technique needs a lot of drilling and downward strikes and just gripping in general still happens. So this technique still has its place in its modern in these modern days but it needs rigorous training just like any other technique now the next one here is as the person is coming out of the car you have the bodyguards obviously circling him but when things happen look at these briefcases and how they open up and i would assume they're against bullets obviously so it's a very similar to this concept here you see by the old armies the spartans or whomever where they create the shield ball or turtle that encircles them and protecting each other and staying close and tight in order to cover all angles and all you know, threats and direction from any threat so um, it's a very small footage uh, that i wanted to share with you it's really interesting to see how these old classical techniques still have their place while at the same time adding new contemporary shielding and protective method thank you please like this video if you found it informative it's the easiest way to support me and consider supporting me on patreon to keep this content going and evolving thank you